Any full moon cycle during the spring can be a trigger for smallmouth to move in and start the mating ritual. There is no salooner effect in nine tidal waters, but the light of the moon allows fish to pair up at night, then have a full day for the mating ritual. Hi, I'm John White, and thank you for watching our series on smallmouth bass from Stage to Fry. This is episode two, brought to you by Berkeley to help you catch more fish after the spawn. So, as you know, we started on May 21st. We had a warm spell, the bays warmed up. Most of the bays were 67 degrees, 65 to 67 degrees and the fish moved in and a lot of beds made no sign of females just a lot of beds made and a bunch of males waiting around then we had a big wind cold spell water turned cold again 55 to 57 degrees on the surface temperatures end of the bays and that seemed to push them all out again so now fast forward to june the second all the fish moved back in as the warm water came in, warm spell again, temperatures got really hot, and the females started showing up. So since all the beds were made, um, we had a little bit of action. So we have uh, some candidates that we're looking for now, and we have three or four candidates so far where the uh, males and females have come in. and been through the ritual of the spawn and now the males are waiting around so we'll find out how fast one the water warms up and two how long it takes for those eggs to become fry and then high fry and swim away so this is a first wave on lake simcoe i might point out that it's lake simcoe specific Things are very different in every lake. Georgian Bay, they spawned a couple of weeks ago. They were on the beds, and there's already some eggs on the beds there. And of course, uh, the Great Lakes might be completely different. I'm told that on Lake Michigan, sometimes they see beds uh, this early or a little bit later, and there's some of them are down 20 and 25 feet. So, We'll uh, follow them and I hope you follow us. I've been checking the temperatures in the bay with my uh, AccuView and has a temperature probe in here. And it's interesting that even when the surface temperatures were 58, 59 degrees, the temperature on the beds were actually 61, 62, 63 degrees. So big difference in the temperature from the surface to the beds even in five to seven feet of water so hopefully we're going to have this nice hot spell come in here maybe there's more females come in but we've got some candidates and we'll watch their beds and we'll show you who we've got most of the beds that were made back on may 21st are now occupied again and cleaned up and ready for females with a lot more males on beds than females coming in, the females are pretty selective. Several males will try to corral a female back to the bed, but she's going to pick the one she wants. The first candidate we have on eggs after mating on June 2nd is Harold. Remember Harold? He's the three pound fish that was 
following us around after he got rejected by a huge female. He seems to have found somebody approximately his own size, and obviously he's infatuated. Eggs were confirmed on June 4th. He's in a shallow bed, approximately 4 feet. Water temperature was 62 degrees on the bed and on the surface. All of the candidates are from different areas of the lake. All spawned on June 2nd and confirmed on June 4th. Apparently the female didn't think much of Harold's bed, so she did a little cleaning herself and then they resumed spawning. Our second candidates are two huge smallmouth I found in about seven feet of water in an area that I've been tracking for about 10 years. Years ago, I wrote a story about Bubbles and Max, a pair that I was tracking. Max was a small male and she was a huge female then. This female was well over six pounds. She'd probably carry over 20,000 eggs. We didn't need confirmation of eggs on June 4th because we watched her spewing eggs on June the 2nd. Pretty rare to catch on camera. She will spend the whole day doing this in 30 second intervals. I did go back and actually confirm the eggs anyway. We'll call this guy Max just for the sake of identification. The final fish in the group that I confirmed eggs on June the 4th was Brutus. This was another huge male I found on a bed in about four feet of water. Unfortunately, I didn't get video of the female because Brutus kept knocking the camera over. The water temperatures when we confirmed the eggs was 58 degrees, but we're in the middle of an extreme heat wave, so I expect this to speed things up. I would expect this to go from eggs to egg sac fry in approximately five to seven days. It should take another two to three days for swim up fry and finally free swimming fry and Brutus has done his job. So this is what we expect to find or hope to find later in the week. Please stay with us.